Okay, let's do the strike and dips now. And these could be a little bit problematic if you don't have the right fonts. And so uh, hopefully with most installations of ArcGIS, you'll have the existing fonts. And also we've, we've installed the style file, uh, hopefully correctly. So anyway, um, what you want to do is, is turn on your, uh, your base map and then let's turn off the polygons for the moment. And so let's look, we have some strike and dips in here. And so you're going to want to have your notebook because you want to get the exact strike. Usually we should be able to read the dip. But let's do, we see a couple of faults right here in the diabase. Let's pick them. So over here, in, if you uh, have your editor uh, going, you want to make sure to start editing and um, create features and then if you pull sometimes you might have had it up where you couldn't see so if you pull down a little bit you'll see orientation points so let's just click on the kind of thing we want to log that can be like this one fault attitude so let's click here now what you need to do is this is important is right click on the orientation points and open the attribute table and so here what you can see is the, the attribution that goes to that point and the each of these uh, symbols is basically north-south, assuming it's a zero strike. So we have to rotate everything by the strike. So we have to use the right-hand rule. So this one is actually striking directly south. It's dipping to the west. So this or it has a strike of 180. The dip is 86. So we just uh, put that in, and then let's do the next one. And as soon as we finish that feature, then it rotates the symbol. And if we turn off uh, the underlying uh, map, we can see it. So now let's go back to this next one. This one has a dip of eight or a strike of 85, and it has a dip of 80. Now we're really cruising. Here's a, oops, this is betting. So uh, you can just click delete if it's still uh, active there. So go and grab your incline bedding, click that one. So incline means any dipping layer. And this one is striking about 355 with a dip of, I think, 85. So now let's keep going. Let's do another one. Here's 60 is the dip. This one has a strike of 350, 60 degree dip. So you see it's quite fast. Here's one. 65. This one's a 358 with a, oops, be careful, 358 with a 65 degree dip, and so on. So now what's uh, important is you can click on any one of these, like the one we just, you know, one over here, and as you click, as you click, you can see which ones are activated. And so if there were one you needed to edit, uh, you know, you could say, oh, actually that's a, a 353 dip you just change the number or if you wanted to delete it wholesale you can just click it and then if you uh, right click you can say delete selected and so it's gone so if you make a mistake it's all right let's do that one again I still have my inclined bedding selected so I'll click and then the strike 358 let's go back to that with a dip of 65 got one down here this looks like it's about 10 degree strike with a 60 degree dip. And uh, oh, there's one over there, another 65. Looks like north. So triple zero 65. Here's one here. This one is uh, 005 66. So even though I say 005, it only takes the actual number there. Okay, this is 62, but it's striking about 350. And I'm just tabbing as I enter those numbers. Looks like we've got most everything. Let's turn off the layer. Are there any more? So this is one key thing is you have to make sure you don't miss anything. We want you to be thorough. Okay, so now let's say editor, save your edits, and then save overall MXD.